when there's so many emotions with people that you once loved and everybody then said some things and, and hurt each other, sometimes you can't come back from it. Sometimes you don't want to. You don't think it's crazy that after everything, you lost all your friends? And you can't even look at me. You've had my heart for 20 years, correct? I've been for 20 years. Oh, my God. Forget it, I'd be lying if I said that, you know, I still didn't love certain people at the table, you know what I'm saying, so. Closing HLS was the hardest thing that I ever did. I had to be honest with myself, and I learned from my mistakes. So let's just be honest and put it out there. Besides, you know at Black Ink, there's no secrets amongst family. A very special, very honest, very real toast. This toast is to privacy. It's to secrecy. It's to defiance. I know Scott can be over the top from time to time, but honestly, if the lights went out, I would think this is a scary movie. This bitch is scaring me. What is this, yo? It has something to do with you and Miss Kitty. Whoever looks at vlogs, put your glass up to your face. Vlogs? <laughs> Blog. I mean, I looked at a blog today. All right. But I don't usually look at blogs. So Shut your I, mouth. I guess I would go with a no. <laughs> so listen, glass to your lips if everyone knows that Kitty's Ryan. Now, yes, I don't feel the need to address anything that's gossip and pure speculation. So you're denying it, huh? Were you not at the mother tattoo convention with Ryan? I was at Essence Fest. Okay. By my damn self. Uh, I was there. But can Kitty, I... you can do what you want to do. It's your bitch. You can do what you want to do. Kid Ryan from Nine Mag. Are you serious? Caesar and Ryan were friends. Like, Kitty, girl, what type of up love triangle are you in? I'm just kind of pissed she didn't tell me, but they do make a cute couple. Yeah. What I got to say about me and Kit, Kit and me, Kit and Ryan, no comment. Yeah, but which one are you on, Caesar or Ryan? No, I'm out of Y'all turn this conversation well, how left. How do you feel about that, though? How do you feel about, like, your old work messing with one of your brothers? Oh, God. I'm not missing something here. What's Hi, up, Kitty? Caesar. How are you? Oh, my. Right. You chilling? Um, what's this about? You want us to leave? I mean, I'll be honest. If y'all gonna be confrontational like that, y'all can get the out. You don't think asking us to leave is confrontational? That's nah, mad the way y'all coming down here is like well, we're just trying to clarify this. because we here for Walter. We're not trying to make it about y'all. The what? problem is this tension. I just came out here to say, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Period. I'll be honest with y'all. Y'all gonna have to calm yourself down and remember, like, this ain't y'all. All right, this is my. I got that. I can say whatever I want. All this y'all. If I really want y'all leave, y'all will leave. Now y'all could dismiss yourself. The y'all think. Ooh. Who are you talking to like that? Y'all the ones that's about to walk back in the house and y'all can stay because I say y'all can stay. Whatever, you disrespect me. Y'all disrespect me. You've been disrespecting me for four years. You work for me. You work for me. What are you going to do? What? Listen what? Listen what? I know what's going to happen. You ain't got no sense. You ain't got no sense. You ain't got no You ain't got no sense. 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 Out. You bugging out, oh, yo. Oh, get, get the out of my yeah. face, you bugging. What the wrong She bugging the out. So did y'all make up? Yeah. What? Oh. Ah, the mediocre ass tattooing oh. is locked up. Oh. Hey, all right. Hey. All right, 
So my plan to get Tati and Kit to exit quietly is not working. So you already know a bitch got a plan B. And what I'm going to do is get everybody to sit and talk their feelings out. And we're going to be able to focus back on what we came out here to do. And that's support this walks in his funny. What just happened in the car? Nothing. Nothing. I was like, well, well you can stay in the house because I say you stay in the house. Right. The then he started like talking crazy, like, oh, uh, we dismiss you. Oh, you dismiss, you dismiss. He so, shouldn't have been chatting like that. He yeah, like, you don't talk to me like that. I don't talk to you like that. I just, I just don't appreciate the way C's act. He make it seem like he don't give a fuck about me, that we not together, we not this. And I reached my breaking point with that. I'm just so hurt by Caesar's behavior right now. This is not the man I thought I knew. I'm just. I'm just hurt. I just want us all like to just know where the f this is rooted from. Like, what's this? What's the root of this problem? I don't know. Look, I just have to ask. Did you really f Ryan? I don't understand why the f it matters what the f you do with your. F like, why is your f his problem? Like, that's what it comes down to. He don't want me, but he don't want nobody else to have me either. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. Like, I understand, like, I don't want you guys to don't think I don't get where you coming from. I know that her coming from him, and I know you dealing with a lot. But y'all need to rectify that Ryan situation. Clear that up. I feel for Kitty. I didn't think that this bitch was going to take it that serious last night about the blog, her or Caesar. And now I just really know that the feelings between these mother are way more deep than what we thought. Stop crying. Wash your face. You cried enough. Oh, hey, brother. It's really good. Hey, guys. Kid, can I talk to you for a minute in private? Oh, OK. I really don't want to talk to C's, but if he's ready to apologize about how disrespectful he was last night, then I guess I'm ready to listen. Let me tell you the truth, kid. Like, that that night was really, really intense. And we get into a space that we starting to hate each other. And I've been struggling and struggling thinking about what we gonna do. Cause there's no way me and you is ever gonna be seeing eye to eye. What are you saying? I can't reconcile the fact that Kit slept with a lion. And the fact that she can't be honest with me, everybody knows about it. I'm feeling embarrassed. She got me looking stupid out in the street. I think it's come to a point that we just got to go our separate ways, yo. In terms of what, though? Like, you're being very vague. I don't think we should be in the company no more. So, I'm getting fired because we had a disagreement. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Urgent. That's all right. No, my lawyer, she's asleep. So, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Not only is it bull to fire me over a petty argument, it's also illegal. What <sighs> you looking at? What you all, it's been a pleasure working with you guys. What just happened? You know, I love you guys. No, I'm being fired. What do you mean you're being fired? That's cool. I'm being fired. Fired? For absolutely no reason. It's been a pleasure working with you, Puma. You, you fired? Yeah. It hasn't Maybe. gone through HR yeah. yet. This is right now. It's a movement of emotions, it's, it's been, okay? It's been a pleasure working it with you. It has not gone through HR yet. Can we have an HR meeting? Man, HR meeting. So, I'm going to. I'm out gracefully. But, um, Sky, I'm, I'm calling my lawyer in the morning. Um, it's going to be a long night for you. You should just take him over there to the camera. I have to talk to him. I'm always the one that's trying to communicate, pushing forward conversation. And the last time I tried to talk to him, I got fired. I saw him. He said, he's open to a conversation. I think the time is okay, I didn't really talk to Caesar, so I don't really know how he feels about talking to Kitty right now. 
but I do know that they haven't been able to keep their eyes off each other the whole night. So it's obviously still some feelings there. They should just curl some balls and face that head on. I don't know if y'all care about each other and he's a stubborn ass Sometimes people don't know what's best for them and they let their egos get in the way. And sometimes they just need a little shove to get them to the next level. Alright, well I can't force you, but I really feel like you will feel better if you do. Alright. See? That was much easier than I thought. Damn, I'm good at this. Hey Teddy. Fine, fine. I see. How are you? Good, good. What you got? Hi, see what the mean gross. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Just wanted to say hi. It was like, not awkward. Oh. So, no. <clears throat> Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all should go have a conversation on the couch. Please go. Please. Caesar, take Kitty. Oh, you a woman you once loved and still care about. And have a conversation. Please. Do you need a drink? Nah, you've been drinking too much. Stop drinking so much. You know the truth come out when you drink. So no. Y'all need to, you don't want to? Nah, we can talk, come on, let's talk. After you. I don't, go ahead. So go downstairs. No. Yeah, we wanna go. If they end up getting married tonight, then they'll have me to thank. And when they start having kids, I can be the godmom, and they can even name their firstborn after me. Donna Jr. What's up? I mean, I don't know. Last time I checked, I was fired. <laughs> and I still don't know why. Were you really upset about, like, the whole blow situation? Like, how did you feel about that? Because you and I have never actually sat down and addressed it. When that blow up drop, it's like, Man, we both look stupid right now because we don't know everything about each other. And I really do be saying I know everything about you. What don't you know? I, I'm not understanding. I don't know if that is true or not. And it seems like everybody's in there laughing at like we stupid. But let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. If I was to ask you that about that, Tell me the truth. Yes. And I've been telling the truth. Don't you believe me? No. And that is like, it's a whole bunch of bull. This is crazy. 
crazy. I texted Kitty telling her not to come, but I guess she's on her bull To be honest, I really don't know how I feel about Kitty. On one hand, she's my friend. And on the other hand, she's been lashing out and she's not listening to nobody. I just really hope that Kitty's not here to start no drama. Cause after all this bull that she's been texting me, I'm not here to hold back. Get it! Yes, I'm loving. Why the f is she here? This side bitch don't realize she got fired? Caesar don't even want her here. What the f is she doing here? You're a goddamn Oscar. I feel like I just won something. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right I'm here. Somebody betrayed me and told Caesar that this rumor's actually true. And if they want to talk about me, <laughs> then I'm gonna give them something to talk about. I got your bag. It's some carry cum, bro. What the f is she doing? I don't know what the f going on. I'm gonna play it cool, play it at cordial, but these bitches, these women are crazy. Yes, these unpredictable females are crazy. Look, I already know Kit came here to start a scene and try to prove whatever bull she's trying to prove right now. But I'm not falling for that f***, I'm staying clear of her bull and enjoying the rest of my prom. Why are you over here acting like you're about to run into Barbie? Oh, my God. Let's do it, baby. about me and Ryan has me questioning who my friends really are. I want to know who the backstabbing bitch is that tried to tell Caesar that this rumor was true. All I got to say is, gotta be real about that Your sex life is your sex life. But it's inflicting, you already know. You and Tati is not as close as y'all used to be. You and Kay is not as close as you used to be. And me and you is growing apart. But I feel like you're dragging everybody into your lives right now. What? So what am I lying about? Everything to come clean because everybody will feel so much better. This is like, what does it matter if you find me? Because I did it. Oh my god. I did it. Yes, Hold you up. did. Was anybody there? Yes, you did. Did. What does it matter if you so did? All your bitches. Who else said they? Tatiana said she saw them. Like that. That's not me. I'm not a liar here. Tati, you say that 
convention history that black ink and non-mag is not next to each other. Regularly, we be sitting next to each other, making some money, chopping it up, having a good old time, like usual. But now, that is dead. Ready? Oh, I see glitter. I see sparkles. Inc. is their manager and brand ambassador. You know, since Charmaine is pregnant and her mother passed away recently, Ryan was kind enough to invite me to come shadow Nine Mag's booth, you know, for inspiration for our booth at next year's convention. But that's all I'm here to do. Nothing more than that. I like completely forgot about 113th and everybody being here and you running into them. And okay. Did you see them? No. Oh. But it's gonna be what it is. So what's Kitty doing here? Kitty came to Philly. I definitely told her you can come. I wasn't the one with the problem. But it, might, it might not be a problem. I was just, I, I literally I forgot about it. I was waiting ready for whatever. If somebody came at you, you'd be like, hey, man, I'll meet you outside. Oh, yeah, okay, we can do that. Even right. if they swung on you. Even if they swung on you. It's a lot of pride to swallow. You know, Ryan actually makes a very good point. It's a strong possibility that either Donald or Tati would be stupid enough to actually take a swing at me at this professional event. But if they do, God help me. What a surprise. Hey, okay. What's up? Oh, <laughs> Kitty's here. <laughs> I guess that makes a lot of sense since she's been hanging around Ryan a lot lately. How was it this year? That's been smooth so far. It's been uh, been nice. around left and right. And this whole fighting between the girls hurts my soul. Everybody needs to realize that words have consequences and friendships are at stake. Oh, jeez. Hi, Kitty. Hi. Oof, Lord, it's cold. It's time for all this drama with kids to end. 
Like, I don't like this negative energy around, so I'm just gonna be straight up with her. Thanks for coming. Of course, sweetie. Let's get right to it. Mm-hmm. What's all this tension between, like, Donna, Tati, and you? I mean, I have nothing to say to them. I told Tati I never wanted to speak to you again, and I meant it. Okay, what about Donna? Donna, initially I told Donna I would be open to having a conversation, but then Donna got on social media and kept badgering me, just talking nonsense. You know what, I'm getting tired of answering all of these questions. I mean, why is everybody acting like I did something to them? And it's been Donna that's been blasting me all over social media. I'm not supposed to defend myself. She told me she was gonna beat me up when she saw me. And just like all this other stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, if you say that, you gotta make good. Ah, oh, Kitty doesn't wanna own up to anything she did. Like, she did a lot of wrong to all of us. Like, girl, please own up to your and say sorry. Kitty, you, you can't be here and tell me that you never talk about everybody to everybody. Get to each other. I, I can't talk about like, everybody. On. I can tell you who I talk about because I talk it in your face. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I mean, if you're gonna lie again, I'm like, come on. Now. I mean, what oh my god. god. What am I lying about? Come on, like I gotta go. Because, bitch, you're so no. fake. Just okay. say you're sorry, and that's it. Why can't people ever admit that they did something wrong and that they're sorry? Everything I love, I'm beating that ass. Peyton lost her mother mind. That's all I know about that. Now we got a problem. Okay, so. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no go like you do all the time. Go, go, back up, bitch. Oh, fat ass bitch. That's why C said you a fat ass bitch and you ugly. What's up? We was letting that fly for two mother years. Like she been talking. On everybody to everybody. Come on. Just say sorry. Every time she get caught, she wanna be, oh my mom said. I'm sorry. God, now I'm sorry. Even though you was you was the one who I am so angry right now. Like I just got done dealing with one mother liar, my father. And now Kitty? Come on now. You got me up. You gonna take a sucker. That's a sucker ass move right there. Sucker ass move. Sucker ass bitch. rehearsal dinner. That's just the type of person that I am. I don't retreat, okay? Let alone retreat because of a bunch of hoes that are of no consequence to me. Everyone looks beautiful tonight. Yeah, yeah, everyone everyone looks looks nice. Nice. Yes, everyone looks yes. Everybody's hair is laid, makeup nice. You yeah, go. I mean, Kitty could sit right across from me and I'll just look right through her empty soul at the wall behind her. I'm done. Have y'all noticed, like, we ain't seen us sitting here, like, next to each other, talking like normal people and That's, yeah. like, proof that people can get over So wait, that mean you forgive me? We've been chilling, right? I haven't come no, to you about since your birthday. Seen you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm over it, see? I'm over it, okay? So we good? We're cool, you know? Yeah! How long did it take you guys to get to that place? It took a while, but I wish it didn't. Things could have been different if we had not had multiple misunderstandings. So that's why when you have problems with someone, it has to be acknowledged one-on-one. -on -one. Y'all bitches need to talk without everybody else around. Y'all need to talk when we're not in a party environment where you can sit down and say, okay, this is my real issue with you, or if I don't have an issue, I want to know what the issue is.
Donna, damn it. Just when I thought that once, maybe, just maybe that these women can learn to squash their beef, here the comes Donna. She done play that it's definitely not. Tomorrow is the wedding. So, yeah, I'm definitely not picking any sides. Love here. It's all about love. I'm happy everyone is here, and I expect to see everyone again tomorrow. I mean, if certain people at the wedding, I might not be there. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of like an um, invasion of privacy that I literally have, like, enemies in the house right now. Who is an enemy? You know who you are. Like, we don't have to be vague about it. If you have something to say, you just say it. I know exactly what happens when there's tension in the group. It be some other furniture moving. So please, please, save it for another time. Yeah, I just think it's so funny that you thought you were going to go to Chicago and the bitches going to love you. But you're not about to come back over here, sweetie. That's not your decision. It's, mm, it's not your decision. It kind of is, It's though. not your decision at all. No intentions of validating this girl's fake ass lies by sitting here while she supports Walt and Jess. She's trying to show up and act all innocent when in fact she's really the one who went out and betrayed all her friends. I've seen what type of person Kitty really is, and I don't want to be a part of that. This bitch was driving this girl to and from DC, reading hotels to stay with her, spending time. And that's, that's the shit that blows my mind. It's like, you don't care. It was fake. Oh. It, it must have been. I was a good friend to Kitty, especially after her mother passed away. I opened up my home to her. She was staying at my place. I was driving her around. You know, like what a friend is supposed to do. And how does she repay me? Not only does she talk about everyone and about me, but then she has the audacity to be like, oh, I never want to speak or see you again. Seriously? When there's so many emotions with people that you once loved and everybody then said some things and and hurt each other, sometimes you can't come back from it. Sometimes you don't want to. You don't think it's crazy that after everything, you lost all your friends? And you can't even look at me. You've been my friend for 20 years, correct? I've been your friend for 20 years. Oh my and God, never left forget me, it right? I'd be lying if I said that, you know, I still didn't love certain people at the table, you know what I'm saying, so. It's very upsetting to me that I lost friends because of this whole situation. I had a lot, a lot of love for every single one of these people, and it just hurts that they betrayed me like they did. That hurts. This was my family. And I felt like my family turned me back on me. Period. And if anybody felt like I did something to you or I wronged you, it was a way to come to me. The way that it all went down, nah, the way it all went down wasn't the way. <laughs> you don't think I'm hurt too about this whole situation? You don't, you, you really think this is how I want this to play out? I think you decide that the people who care about you aren't worth it, and you put too much energy into the people who don't care about you. What? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, ladies. Um, this is Walter's rehearsal dinner. Walt chose to invite her. That's his friend. That's what we gotta respect. It's his, it's his and Jess weekend. You know what I mean? It's they wedding. They can invite who they want to, and that's how it is. Seeing Donna and Kitty fight like that just seems so dumb and childish. I know I got beef with certain people here, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna be interrupting this thing for war. At this point, we need to put our difference to the side and show war and just the respect they deserve. You never had a poor boy? I don't know what a poor boy is. Alligator, we have roast beef. Hey. Okay. Fire alligator on the grill. I would tell you, alligators taste like a chicken swam. But swam in the sea? No. This good alligator. Then I want to try alligator. You want to drink, drink? I want to drink, drink. The funeral ended a few hours ago. Uh, all in all, it was a beautiful experience. So many people came to support Charmaine. I still got the house for a couple more days, so the plan is to, you know, stick around New Orleans, enjoy a little bit more time around with everybody who's still here, and Kitty and my alligator po' boy. This gonna creep up on you. I know it. Oh, my God. Thank you.
Thank you, dear. Thank you. All right, y'all, take care. Before y'all even ask, I didn't have anything to do with Kit being down here. She has her own relationship with Charmaine. In fact, she's the one who did Charmaine's mother's makeup. So I ran into her down here in New Orleans. And are you mad that you ran into her? No, man. I'm trying to see what... <laughs> I'm about to try this gator. But I want this drink. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be up. <laughs> she be. It's been a pretty emotional day, you know, with Miss Glenda's funeral being this morning. And I am just really glad being out of New York and away from that bull and just to be amongst, you know, real friends. I'm glad I came today to support my girl, Charmaine. I mean, it was tough. I appreciate you coming. I'm telling you, I need a drink. New York just been a mess and crazy. Where things stand with me in New York right now is on my day off, all of my so-called friends turn their backs on me. Ain't nobody about to be depressed about not being in that raggedy mother A cardboard box under the Brooklyn Bridge would be more satisfying than being there. Jesus Christ. Whew. But how you let everybody just turn against you like that? What you mean how I let? They supposed to be your friends. Man. This is it because y'all dating? Me and C's ain't dating. Then what are you mad for? I guess it's an ego thing. Don't want nobody else to have me. There shouldn't be no problem. Like, how the is you fighting your friends over the rumor? You know what I'm saying? Me and C's have known each other for some years. You know, I've always considered him a good friend. I don't think C's would have an issue with me and Kit being friends. If, that, if not, if, that, if that's not your girl. Charmaine was like, if they ain't treating me right in New York, she's like, oh, you got a place in my shop. Whoa. What you think? I was like, oh, where is that? I don't need no. I no. mean, you know my people rock with you. You know what I'm saying? We always love to have you in the city. I think you should do it. It'd be good for you and Charmaine. I think it makes sense for a kid to go to Chicago and help out with Charmaine in her shop. I know Charmaine will be down here for a while, and you know she got to work some things out. So she might need this the help of somebody that she trusts. I mean, if you come and work with Charmaine, I mean, you got friends and people in Chicago. You know what I mean, I think it'd be dope. Well, maybe you'll be seeing me a lot more. Pow! Ooh, all the calendar invites in like two minutes. Okay. Hey, Ryan. All right, I gotta go. All right, thanks. Bye. I know Charmaine is struggling right now, and I don't just mean emotionally. I mean literally struggling with everything it is that she has to do, and she's just so busy. I know when my mom died that I was not prepared to take on all of the tasks that came with it, and it knocked me out the game for a good little while. So whatever she needs, I mean whatever she needs, I will be there for her always. I had to plan mom's funeral, and now that that's done with, I have to like get back on track with everything. All my emails are completely insane. I gotta finish this website for Second City Inc. It was supposed to be finished like two weeks ago. You know, my dad, he's definitely going through it right now. Like, I'm extremely worried about him. I need a lot of help. So I've decided to take you up in your offer and come and work at Second City. Really? Yes. Kids. Yes. Thank you. Praise be. I've been feeling so overwhelmed, trapped under a mountain of stuff to do. And while I love everyone and appreciate everyone's support, this is the type of support that I need. This is a perfect idea. Girl, you coming to Chicago and helping me there would mean everything to me. Like, it would really put me at ease. But I definitely need someone that I trust and I trust you, kid. Thanks, babe. I mean, it's like paperwork that needs to be done mm -hmm. that I haven't handled yet. The artists, I don't even know what's going on with them. Like, I haven't even responded to their text messages. <sighs> what, you know something I don't know? Girl, Jess was over here putting the titties on Ryan, and you know she ain't got no titties. My breast is all over this place. <laughs> I was like, girl. What? It was a little too much fun. And that's fine, but as a grown woman, as a manager, you are supposed to be able to reel that in. So I know as brand manager, I will come in and put that into shape because I know how important like your image is to the world. I don't know what the f is going on. I think it's a little weird for Kit to just single Jess out like this. 
But the point is, I need help, and Kitty is the perfect person to step up and come help me. Be an extra set of hands for the next couple weeks. I need you to come in, do whatever you need to do, girl. You ain't even gotta call me first, okay? Oh, like, I'm trusting you to just flip second city in the shade. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need to do to the shop, girl, take it off my hands. Got you. Night last, girl. Anybody here? I get that this is a tattoo shop and no one keeps bankers hours. But I mean, it's 11 a.m. and no one's here, the lights are still on from last night, and this place is a mess. I mean, all the hard work that Charmaine put in to make this shop a success, and it's just like, what the hell? She comes back tomorrow, and I cannot let her see it looking like this. Thank you. What up, Kat? Kitty. <laughs> Thank you. It's about time. Yeah. She is really she is I've had the flu since we got back from New Orleans, so I was hoping that whole Kitty being here was some type of hallucination off my fever or something. But obviously, it's real. Sorry, but if we have to pick sides, I choose Jeff. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Hey, good to see you, boo. Maya, you too. Of course I knew she was here. You better believe a group text started between me, Dre, and just the moment she set her ass in Charmaine's chair. But there's one thing I learned in life, never get in the way of an ambitious bitch like Kitty. She might be running this place one day and I need a job. First of all, she's sitting in the office. She's sitting at the boss. That's like she run this, bro. I just feel like we should at least give her a shot, one shot. Hi guys. Can I talk to all of you over here? I want to have a little meeting. Please. Look, I'm not out to get anybody here. I mean, even Jess. I don't particularly like her, but I can still work with her. But I'm not the type to just sit by idly and watch as Charmaine's vision just falls apart, especially when she's empowered me to do whatever it takes to whip this place into shape. Where's Jess? I ain't heard from her. I don't know. She ain't here. Yeah, well, I can see that too. Jess, bitch, if you can hear me, bitch, run, girl, run. The reason I asked is because, you know, I wanted everybody to be here because Charmaine's coming back. And I really don't want her to come back with the shot like this. What you mean? I've been here for a week now, and I've only seen two clients walk in. You got our own schedule, though. This ain't no nine to five. Mm-hmm. But we're not making any money. What is Jess doing? Is Jess helping the brand grow? I don't know. She's not here. Charmaine is hitting the pavement every day, working to make Second City nationally and globally known. We need to have this place booming. Like, the business needs to be coming in like that. But it's not happening fast enough. So I think we should just start taking walk-ins. And we can get the traffic in here. That's like asking a top-line chef to go flip burgers at McDonald's. Like, I didn't come here for that. I was booked out when I came here. So for me to come here and then have to be taking walk-ins and doing little name tattoos, like, it's beneath me. Exactly. Walk-in tattoo parlor means any old body could just walk in wanting some $20 tattoo. I'm a custom appointment-only artist. And no offense to anybody, but I've worked way too hard to be doing like that. We all independent contractors, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not a drill. This is happening. So from now on, we'll be taking walk-ins officially. There will be no more children in the shop. There's no more lounging around. Girl, you kind of like that's the vibe. Like, we are creatives. Structure is needed. So I want everybody to post daily on the Second City Instagram page. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make Second City Inc. the biggest brand out there. However, if you guys feel like this is not the type of environment that you want to work in, then maybe you should seek employment elsewhere. What was that? Hey, y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 
YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.